so in this video so i would like to discuss about uh, procedure of uh, bodo plots so means uh, magnitude plot and phase plot so procedure for magnitude plot of bodo plot and a procedure for uh, phase plot of bodo plot so here let uh, g of s is equals to so i am taking a sample uh, uh, transfer function g of s is equals to k 1 plus s t1 square by s square 1 plus s t2 and 1 plus s t2 t3 so numerator uh, uh, polynomial is uh, k 1 plus s t1 whole square and denominator polynomial is s square 1 plus s t2 and uh, 1 plus s t3 so here uh, we have to follow some steps so step 1 is convert the transfer function into bodo form or time constant form so here this is the given transfer function we have to convert this into the uh, bodo form or otherwise called as a time constant form so the bodo form of the transfer function is so this is already it is in time constant form or otherwise bodo form so g of s is equals to k 1 plus s t1 square by s square 1 plus s t2 into 1 plus s t3 so here we have to replace s with j omega because it is a frequency domain analysis so bodo plots are frequency domain analysis so we have to replace s with j omega so here if you replace s with j omega in the given transfer function it becomes so g of j omega so which is equals to k 1 plus j omega t1 whole square and the in the denominator it is j omega whole square 1 plus j omega t2 1 plus j omega t3 so that is step 1 so step 1 is so given transfer function we have to convert into bodo form or otherwise time constant form so next so step 2 is so step 2 is list the corner frequencies in the increasing order and prepare a table as shown below so here we have to identify the corner frequency uh, from the a uh, given transfer function so here corner frequencies are 1 by t1 becomes one corner frequency 1 by t2 becomes one corner frequency 1 by t3 becomes one corner frequencies so here there are three corner frequencies so here list the corner frequencies in the increasing order so in the increasing order we have to list the corner frequency and prepare a table as shown below so this is the table we have to prepare so serial number first column is serial number 1 2 3 4 and second column is term so term means so here these are the terms k by j omega square is one term 1 plus j omega t1 square is one term 1 by j 1 by 1 plus j omega t2 is one term 1 by 1 plus j omega t3 is one term so here uh, in this uh, given uh, transfer function so there are 1 2 3 4 4 terms are there so here we have to take serial number from 1 to 4 and we have to list all the terms so after that corner frequencies so in radians per second so unit of corner frequency is radians per second and a slope so slope unit is decibels per decade and a change in slope so db per decade so in the above table so in the above table enter k or otherwise k by j omega n or otherwise k j omega n as the first term so here first term we have to fill the first term with this uh, constant or otherwise k by j omega power n or otherwise k j omega power n so in this example so first term becomes k by j omega square is becomes the first term so first term and the other terms in the increasing order of corner frequencies so here we have to fill the remaining terms so in the increasing order of the corner frequencies then enter the corner frequency slope contributed by each term and change in slope at every corner frequency so finally we have to fill this table so serial number and the second term is second column is terms and third column is corner frequency whose unit is radians per second and a slope d in db per decade and change in slope db per decade so that is step 2 and coming to the step 3 so choose an arbitrary frequency omega l which is less than the lowest corner frequency so calculate the db magnitude of k or k by j omega n or k j omega n at omega l 
and at the lowest and at the lowest corner frequencies so here we have to take one more uh, frequency uh, which is uh, omega l which is less than the lowest corner frequencies so in the previous uh, table so here we are taking corner frequencies so here we are taking corner frequencies from the uh, given transfer function 1 by t1 becomes one corner frequency 1 by t2 becomes one corner frequency 1 by t3 becomes one corner frequencies so out of this which one is the lowest corner frequency so we have to identify and now we have to take one more frequency whose fre uh, whose uh, value is less than the lowest corner frequency so that is uh, choose an arbitrary frequency omega l which is less than the lowest corner frequencies so among the lowest corner frequencies we have to take uh, one more frequency whose value is less than the lowest corner frequency and now we have to calculate the db magnitude of k or k by j omega n or k j omega power n at omega l so omega l is less than the corner frequency and at the and also we have to calculate these values so um, db uh, magnitude of k or k by j omega n or uh, k j omega n at also at the lowest corner frequency so at the lowest corner frequency so after calculating that is step 3 so next step 4 so calculate the gain so gain always uh, in decibels db magnitude at every corner frequency 1 by 1 by using the formula so here at uh, each corner frequency we have to calculate the gain so 1 by 1 so here if you see this uh, graphs model graphs omega x is the corner frequency omega y is the uh, next corner frequency so omega x is less than omega y at omega x magnitude if you take the magnitude ax is the magnitude at omega y ay is the magnitude so ay is less than ax so it is uh, magnitude is decreasing as we are increasing the uh, frequency so it's uh, we get a negative slope here so whereas in second diagram so frequency omega x is frequency in radians per second omega y is also the frequency in radians per second so omega x is less than omega y but if you see the magnitude at omega x ax is the magnitude at omega y ay is the magnitude so ay is greater than ax so it is a positive slope so positive slope so gain at omega y so how do how now we have to calculate gain at omega y so gain at omega y is equals to change in gain from omega x to omega y so gain at omega y is equals to change in slope or change in gain so what is the change in the gain means ax minus ay is the change in the gain so change in gain from omega x to omega y plus gain at omega x gain at omega x so this is how we can find the gain at omega y so gain at omega y is equals to change in gain from omega x to omega y that is ax minus ay plus gain at omega x so what is the gain at omega x is ax so slope from so other way of finding gain at omega y is slope from omega x to omega y into log omega y minus log omega x plus gain at omega x so slope from omega x to omega y into log omega y by omega x plus gain at omega x so here we are in step 4 we are finding the gain at omega y and next step is step 5 so choose an arbitrary so after finding the gains at all the corner frequencies now again we have to choose one arbitrary frequency omega h which is greater than the highest corner frequency now we have to choose one more arbitrary, uh, arbitrary frequency which is greater than the highest corner frequencies so calculate the gain at omega h by using the formula in step 4 so whatever the formula we are using in step 4 so we are using the same formula to find gain at omega h which is uh, greater than the highest corner frequencies so that is step 5 so now coming to the step 6 so step 6 uh, uh, so procedure to find the magnitude plot in Bodo plots for Bodo plots so step 6 is in a semi log graph sheet mark the required range of frequencies on x axis so now we have to take after finding the values now we have to take the semi log graph so this is the semi log graph so this is the semi log graph which is uh, 
x axis is uh, non linear uh, uh, values and the y axis is a linear scale so x axis is non linear scales abscissa is a non linear scale and the y axis is a linear scale so this graph is called as a uh, semi lag graph semi lag graph so in a semi lag graph sheet mark the required range of frequencies so here uh, uh, in uh, uh, so we have to uh, see the we have to uh, design this uh, frequencies mark the frequencies so in this example i am taking 0.1 as a reference and 10 times of 0.1 is 1 and 10 times of 1 is 10 and 10 times of 10 is 100 and 10 times of 100 is uh, 1k here 10 times of 100 is 1k so this is a non linear uh, scale so x axis is a non linear scale so based on the problem we have to take this scale and uh, so here in a, in a semi lag graph sheet mark the required range of frequencies on x axis so x axis is called as a log scale and the range of db magnitude on y axis so y axis we have to take a um, uh, deep magnitude so magnitude in decibels so magnitude in decibels so this is the reference origin and here i am taking uh, 10 uh, minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 like this so uh, so scale we have to take the scale based on the uh, given problem and uh, so that is how we can take uh, uh, magnitude scale and mark so after taking the uh, scale on x axis and y axis Mm, so now step 7 is mark all the points so whatever we calculated up to uh, the in step 3 and step 4 and step 5 mark all the points obtained in steps 3 4 5 on the graph and join the points by straight lines mark the slope at every part of the graph thus the magnitude plot obtained above is an approximate plot so in that way so whatever uh, the values we calculated in step 3 4 5 we have to uh, uh, keep uh, we have to post that on in the uh, graph now we have to join all that points so which we get a magnitude plot so of the border plot so next is so border plots means magnitude plot and also uh, phase plot so there are two plots so magnitude plot in logs and phase plot uh, both plots are called as a border plots so second is a procedure for a uh, phase plot of border plot so here uh, similarly here if you see the border plots so here in the border plots we have a magnitude plot and also the phase plot in the same uh, graph sheet so in the same graph sheet we have to draw magnitude plot in decibels so magnitude plot in decibels and a phase plot so phase plot we are uh, taking scale uh, towards the right side here so 180 um, minus 160 so here this is the origin so here this is the scale so for uh, um, phase angle plot phase plot so we are taking scale towards the right side of the semi log graph and for the magnitude plot we are taking left side uh, we are taking the scale on the left side and uh, omega is same so this is the uh, abscissa axis for magnitude plot and this is the abscissa axis abscissa axis for the uh, phase plot so here uh, procedure uh, for uh, phase plot of border plot the phase plot is an exact plot and no approximation uh, approximations are made while drawing the phase plot so here whereas magnitude plot is an approximate plot phase plot is an exact plot and no approximations are made while drawing the phase plot so uh, next so that is uh, first point second point is second step is the exact phase angles of g of j omega are computed for various values of omega and tabulated so here also we have to take different values of omega and for different values of omega we have to find the phase angles for, for the given transfer function so the choice of frequencies the choice of frequencies are preferably the frequencies chosen for magnitude plot whatever the frequencies we are choosing uh, for the magnitude plot we are taking the same frequencies uh, for a phase plot also the choice of frequencies are preferably the frequencies chosen for magnitude plot and next step four is the magnitude plot and phase plot are drawn in a single semi log graph sheet on a common frequency scale so here we are drawing uh, both magnitude plot and phase plot on the 
a single semi log graph sheet in the same semi uh, semi log graph sheet we are drawing magnitude plot as well as phase plot and on a common frequency scale so take another y axis in the graph where the magnitude plot is drawn and in the y axis in this y axis um, y axis mark the desired range of phase angles after choosing proper units so if you see the semi log graph sheet so on the same semi log graph sheet so we are drawing magnitude plot so as well as the phase angle plot so here uh, so scale we have to take a scale for the phase angle plot towards the right side of the semi log graph sheet so for the magnitude plot we have to take the scale on the uh, left side of the uh, semi log graph sheet so and last step in uh, procedure for uh, phase plot of uh, border plot is from the tabulated values of omega and uh, phase angles mark all the points on the graph join the points by a smooth curve so after uh, uh, posting the values in, in the graph we have to join all that points to get a uh, uh, phase plot so that is this is the procedure for both uh, uh, magnitude plot as well as phase plot so called as a bodo plots